Hi, I want to show you why we acousticians like to do a logarithmic transformation when we're working with the decibel scale. Because sound is actually a pressure variation, so the unit is Pascal. But if you take a look at this little illustration that I have here on my side, if we were working with Pascal, we would be looking at a scale that goes from like 20 micropascal all the way to 10 million or 100 million micropascals. But by going to decibel scale with a logarithmic transformation, we're, we end up with a scale that goes from 0 to 120, which is much nicer. Now just consider if you're in, the, in your car, driving on the freeway, and you pass a speed camera, and oh, well the speed limit, was it, was it 20, or was it 1000, or was it 10 million? I don't really remember. That's not a funny unit to be working with. But when you go to decibel with the logarithms, you get 0 to 120, and it's much, much easier for you to keep track of where you are. And here you have also some examples of typical sound pressure levels that, that we encounter. Normal life, somewhere between, somewhere between 0 to 120. And if you go past 85, you should be careful with your, with your hearing and use some kind of protection. So, crash course in acoustics. See you later.